Hi, in this video I finish the arm, hand and the glove sleeve. I will show you a trick to model an object on a non-planar surface without having distortions. For the retopology I will use quadrimesher, but before that I need to soften the edges. If you don't have quadrimesher there is also another software, it's a free software, and if I remember correctly it's called InstaRemesher, and if you want I can show you that in another video. Here I try to create a loop around the edge to have a uniform edge loop. In a normal body the goal is to try to make loops that do not run all around the mesh. In this point you can see that there isn't a loop, uh, however since it's just an arm and it's not attached to the body, I'm not concerned. Of course if I had to join it to a body, I will have to fix this part. Now I'm starting with the hand, separating the wrist, so I don't have to worry about the edge loops running up to the arm. Here on the hand, the quadrimesher did a pretty good job, but I need to fix it a little bit. I reshape the knuckles to fit the surface. I make one and then I copy it to the other knuckles. I redo the hand because I want to try to create edge loops that stay only on the hand, without having to increase the geometry in the rest of the arm. It's a long process and in some places I think I could have done a better job. But in the end I'm satisfied with the result. For the fingers I'm trying to have the minimum number for the circle, in this case 8 vertices. As for the knuckles, I'm trying to follow the shape of the nail as much as possible to help the sculpting process. The retopology of the arm is done to create a low poly version and a high poly version. On the eye poly version, I will apply a multi-res modifier to sculpt the last details. The new high poly version is created using the shrink wrap modifier on the first sculpted version to keep some of the secondary details.
Here I made the shoulders too sharp and I will soften them later. To create the gloved sleeve, I duplicate the low poly base of the arm, I make sure to remove the top part and some fingers. Using the glove base, I create this metal bracelet. Usually I'm trying to reuse the geometry I have as much as possible. I just duplicate with Ctrl D and then press P to separate the selection. With Alt S I scale along the normals and I use a solidify modifier to increase the thickness. And I do the same thing with the glove. For the back side of this part I create an edge loop and I scale it inward. I will add more details with the texture later. I finish the bracelet and the glove. Unfortunately I didn't record the part where I sculpted the details of the glove. But I just created a high poly version and followed the same process as for the arm. And finally you can see here the technique I used to model the plate on the glove. I used duplicated links. Instead of using Ctrl D, you use Alt D. In this way the changes made on one mesh in edit mode are transferred to the other one. I select the duplicated mesh and I place it as close as possible to the glove. And then I use the shrink wrap modifier. Now I select the original mesh and I model the metal plate. I will split the screen so you can see what happens. Once I model it, I added a solidify modifier, a subsurface modifier, and then I applied everything. I beveled the edges and I delete the part of the object that is covered, the base in this case, because it won't be visible. This video is about to end and if it was helpful or you enjoyed, uh, please leave a like. See you in the next video.